Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. My name is LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a very simple lifestyle vlog where I get here every morning and I try to uplift, encourage, and inspire as many people as I possibly can. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the divorced mother of three adult children. I have two boys and a girl. I am a United States Navy veteran. I'm also a surgical tech. I am disabled and I work full time here now from my home. I am a hustler. That's right, I'm a hustler. I get up every day and I work. I do something for my YouTube channel every single day and I love what I do. I love to help people, uplift people, encourage people and talk about the love of the Lord. That's right. So this is my new intro. So here I am, <laughs> and if you like what you see, click like, share, comment, and come back here on a daily basis. So, here's today's video. Hey YouTube, it's me, LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me here once again. It's a beautiful day here in Jacksonville, but you know what? It always is. I love living here. I love everything about Jacksonville. I really enjoy going on my scooter and riding around. I'm so blessed. I feel so blessed. And so when I woke up this morning, I was thinking, I'm going to go out for a ride on my scooter today. But then I was thinking, well, it's even more than that. I just start praising and being thankful for that scooter. And then I said, you know what? Let's do a video today about your blessings are coming. That's right. I said to YouTube, your blessings are coming. I That scooter, thinking about that scooter this morning reminded me of my how impatient I was a year ago waiting for that same scooter. I just was praying to God, please, 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 God, please. And all I did in prayer was talk about that scooter because I knew that my mobility issues and my problems we're stemming from the fact that I couldn't get up and get moving the way I usually do. So if you're new here, my motto is get up, get moving, and be a part of the living. That's part because I'm working on my self-sufficiency. Uh, I'm working on being as independent as possible at this age and feeling like, yes, I want to do as much as I can for myself, but I will ask for help if I need it. And that is how I live my life. Real simple. Real simple, real frugal as a minimalist. And I like my life. I like the pace that it is. And I like the way that I pray. I've changed the way I prayed and everything. And I just start my prayers off with being thankful. And I start my prayers off by being grateful. And so this morning, the first thing as my uh, little bitty toes hit the floor, I was thinking how grateful I am for that scooter. I have a choice this morning. I can decide to go for a walk with my walker or I can get on my scooter and do my little song where I say on the road again. I love my little scooter. Yeah. Anyway, and so I'm looking at it right now because it's in my apartment. I don't leave it outside because of the fact that I, the elements of, you know, rain, everything, but I don't want nobody to take it either. And they, they'd have to come up in here and get it. Okay. But um, my son just said, you know what? It don't fit in the shed. We'll make some room for it. And this is a very, very small apartment. As you know, I'm at 600 and I think 60 square feet. It's a one bedroom efficiency apartment. And I'm grateful for that too. But the blessings are coming. That's the subject of the video today. So let's get into it. You are struggling right now. You might be going through something really rough and... um I know I was. And so what happens when you get kind of despondent, you believe that your blessings are not coming. And so we take a step back and we forget about prayer. We forget about having faith and that throws us off. But we have to get ready because the blessings are coming. But if you're not prepared, they're going to go right over your head. Okay. You have to prepare yourself and remember, you're not in your own time. 
You on God's timeline. So you have to be ready to adjust to those blessings when they come. Victory is within reach. I always tell people to anticipate God's promises. Anticipate God's promises because they're coming. It just takes time to get to you. And half the time, you might not even be listening or you don't even see the clues that he is there to help you, to guide you, to get you to where you need to be. So you have to be able to put God's word before anything else, okay? We know that God's blessings are coming, so we have to get ready for that. So you have to be able to hear. You have to be able to see it, and you have to be able to receive it also. So you have to have faith in God, and you have to trust his word. Have faith in God and trust in his word because everything that you're going through right now has to be gone through. You know, I always, I mean, when I was in ICU, it was just me and God. And I said, God, what are you doing? I've been your faithful servant. What? Why are you putting me through all this? What? I, I, I just felt like I just lost faith. I just was in that moment. And I just was just ready to give up. I was just ready to get up. I just was so tired of being sick, you know? And that was the roughest time of my life. It was so rough. He saved me. He saved me. I was able to hear him. I was able to talk to God and tell him, what are you doing? I am your faithful servant and I'm suffering like this. It's faith, hope, you dream, you anticipate, your blessings are coming. The miracle is there. It's going to happen in due time. Not your time. Mm -mm. You got to have faith and trust in his word. And I don't, I don't know how to make you believe that. But once you do believe it and you feel it in your heart, it's just like that self-esteem. It's just like the fact that you feel that peace is a wonderful feeling of knowing that God is in the shadow somewhere working behind the scenes to get you everything you need. So don't worry. Don't worry your heart about it. Don't spend another time of your life wasting away being sad because you're not ready for this blessing that's about to come. So I tell you first person what I do. I just, I say, okay, this spiritual attack is just a little bit too much for me now. I have to go dark. I call it go dark, where I just start praying. I just start praying. And when you pray from the depths of your soul, you have to believe what you're praying for, okay? If it's coming from the depths of your soul, you are due for a win. You are due for victory. So what you have to do is prepare yourself because the blessing is coming. Prepare yourself, sit back, relax, and take in everything that's about to come. All those good things that you never thought would come true are about to come true. He is going to shift everything and the focus of your pain is going to change. The focus of your despair is going to change. And all you're going to see up front is the blessing and the victory. Okay? That's it. That's all I got for you. No more chatty chatty. Okay. At this time, we're going to breathe in and breathe out to get our day started. Okay? Breathe in, breathe out. Ooh, we thank you, Father. We are so grateful, Father. Thank you, Father letting us live just one more day. Now, wherever you headed today, to work, to school, or maybe you got a paper due today, I don't know. Be happy, be joyful, and put a smile on your face and treat people with dignity and respect. It's the only way to live. So have a good day, have a blessed day, and remember, God loves you, and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.